Hi, I'm Robin Ross, and I played Brooke on Nickelodeon's 15, the teen soap that was in the early 90s that we filmed at Universal Studios, um, actually the Nickelodeon Studios inside Universal Studios, and I was asked to talk today a little bit about my experiences there, and they were fantastic. I mean, it was, I don't even want to say, but going on 20 years now, and um, I have nothing but great memories of us at Universal Studios, walking around, kind of meeting all the staff that worked there and did all the shows in on the grounds. Um, all the people that worked in the Nickelodeon Studios themselves were fantastic. The fans that came through and saw the shows filming live, there was some live game show type shows that were filming. Um, there was Welcome Freshmen, Salute Your Shorts, Cl Clarissa Explains It All, 15, and all of, of course all the cartoons that were fantastic back then, Ren and Stimpy and so on and so forth. Um, I, I guess I just have wonderful things to say and I'm sad when I got this email saying that the studios had closed and to talk maybe a little bit about my memories as well as if I think they should open again. Well, hell yeah, they should open. They were, it was, it was fantastic. Kids loved coming through and I know that there's still Nickelodeon shows today because my daughter loves Nickelodeon shows. So I'm wondering where they're filming, but they definitely should have a grounds where people could go watch the tapings of these shows and enjoy it the way we did and um, I'm going to show you some memories in my photo album book that I went and pulled out that took me down memory lane so I'm gonna pull those out and uh, have you look at some of them with me. Alright so I pulled out this old album of mine I have not looked in it for years and I was just laughing my ass off to see what great memories and photos I had of this place and this time. So uh, just come in and I can show you what we have here. So this was us in the uh, makeup room, getting ready, I guess, getting hair and makeup done, taking the opportunity to do some cast photos of the whole clan. And here we go with the actual studios, um, where we would show up for work every day in beautiful Orlando, Florida, which was amazing. Uh, we must have been there right around Christmas time because uh, obviously Got a lot of Christmas themed things. And there we go. There's the inside. It was right outside of our green room where we had a uh, little Nickelodeon guy and uh, Fred Flintstone, whom I love. And so we would make friends with a lot of the people that would work inside the theme park. They'd be doing their like live shows and we'd hang out with them every day after. And uh, here we are. I don't know why, but we, we went into like trailers to read over our lines and such. And then on, when we had some time off, we'd go do mall, like mall tours and um, signings. And I, I love how they put our character's name, not our real name. That is, why did they ever need to know who we were other than our character? It's kind of bad though, because a lot of people hated Brooke. But anyways, that's that. Again, more cast stuff. Fans were wonderful coming up to us, and let's see, what do we have here? Nothing that interesting. Oh, okay, speaking of fans, speaking, see this? This spurred on such a funny memory that I actually have to share with you because it is hilarious. Um, these two little kids had come and asked for an autograph, and of course we love to give the autographs because without the fans, our show wouldn't have been anything. And so happily did I give my autograph to them when this girl in the turquoise shirt came over and asked me for mine. And I said, sure. So I gave her my autograph and usually I would take the autograph of the person asking for mine because why should they have mine if I can't have theirs as well. And she walked away and she looked completely upset and disappointed and she went, Robin Ross? Who's Robin Ross? And I said, well, I am and Brooke's my character. And she goes, I don't know who you are. I thought you were Debbie Gibson. So I thought that was so funny because talk about a humbling moment and yeah, I guess she didn't watch the show. Um, here I am. I took a picture with Mickey Rooney at his star because he is the person who's responsible for my New York agent and for actually having me discover New York, lived for years in New York because of him. I came out to see one of his um, shows after I filmed something with him in Vancouver, British Columbia fell in love with the city, fell in love with his agent who became my agent still to this day. Robert Malcolm is mine and he's phenomenal. Okay, I'm getting off track. Now, uh, I guess dinner out with the clan. I just can't get over how young little Ryan Reynolds looks. Now who's the sexiest man alive, according to people. And I just think he's just a cutie pie. 
That's all. He just was always little cute Ryan to me. Um, more goofing around at the studio. This was a publicity picture that we did for 15. I guess one of the producers jumped in that. And uh, I had one picture that I don't think I showed you guys. Let's see. Sorry. Ding to doom. Oh, it must be here. Yes, here it is. Coming out of Studio 21, I think our Nickelodeon studio was right behind that. I noticed that Far and Away was the big movie at the time. And here are like Ryan Reynolds, Todd Talbot, and Chris Martin, who we used to call Corky. They were walking out of there like they're the Reservoir Dogs. Too cool for school. And uh, we weren't really in Hollywood, but you know how Universal Studios is. And there's Laura Harris, who went on to do the faculty. And everybody else went on to have awesome, fun, amazing lives. And I still kind of... Facebook them all from time to time. So those were my days at Nickelodeon Studios, Universal Studios, and I really hope it comes back so more people can have the memories that I do.